in a matter of moments. These empty seats will be filled by hungry players looking for a national championship and a $100,000 payday. It was a long season of intense competition, and it all comes down to this moment right here, right now. Who will take home the Major League Gaming National Championship title? We're about to find out. It's MLG Championship Sunday! If you are the best, you gotta make sure that you stay consistent. You can't just be like, oh, I'm the best and the next tournament slack off. So I never really look at myself as being the best player. I just think of it as I'm playing my best for the benefit of my team. When I catch fire, the other team should just set down their controllers because there's nothing they can do. I do think I'm the best overall player competing right now. Look at that play. Oh there. my oh, goodness. He oh, boss, you're wrong. Look at him. And he's just ripping faces right now. Todd's using the wall, but he's got a double. Looking for the triple. The Hill Hall neighbor's going to love this. He takes down his fan. There's a double to win it. It's championship second. Welcome to MLG Championship Sunday. It's the 2010 MLG National Championships. Chris Puckett up in the booth with my boys. Chris Smith, Scott Lassier, Shockwave, and Gandhi's the legends. Guys, amazing weekend. It is the final Halo 3 tournament to ever take place here at MLG on the main stage. And it has been just awesome up to this point. We're down to our final three teams. How did we get here? Well, Chris, this tournament hasn't been many upsets. It seems that every top seed has pretty much handled their seeds appropriately. And now we got the one and two seeds facing off in this winner's bracket finals. Yeah, there really hasn't been too many surprises here in Dallas. The seventh and eighth seeds, Warrior and Carbon, were the first teams to go out, followed shortly by Believe the Hype and Dynasty. So just like uh, our predictions, pretty solid there, guys. We just saw as status quo edged out, triggers down in a five-game series. So status quo, for the first time this season, breaks into the top three, triggers down with a disappointing fourth place. Sorry about that, Chris. But guys, we have two teams left in the winner's bracket finals. In the winner's bracket, we have final boss, the number one, taking on the number two instinct. And it's going to be an incredible matchup. It's time to meet our teams. Let's go down to the floor with Farouk. All right, we're live here on the Major League Gaming main stage where we got the winner's bracket finals. Let's meet the team on the blue side. Let's hear it for Instinct. We've got Roy, Elamite Warrior, Lunchbox, Cloud, and their coach, Towie. And on the red side, make some noise for final boss. Let's hear it for Victory X, Fear Itself, Ogre 2, Pistola, and their coach, Mazik. All right, it's time for the winner's bracket finals. Instinct, final boss, lock it up. What an epic matchup, guys. We've seen these teams match up time and time again. We just saw Final Boss win our last two events, but Instinct, they won our first two events of the season, and they are hungry for their third beat and that $100,000 check. Scott, what are you expecting to see from the blue team tonight? Well, you know, Chris, expecting out of Instinct here, you're going to see a lot. You're going to see Elamite Warrior come out. He's been playing great this whole weekend long, and he's, be he's really being the leader of this team. And then, you know, the main thing he's going to bring here is going to be composure. As long as he can say composure, the last time these two teams met up, final boss won 6-3, but I'm not expecting that outcome here tonight. Yeah, but then there's the backbone of instinct, and that's the twins, Roy and Lunchbox. Roy, a two-time MVP so far this year. He's been killing at this tournament, playing great, and a little bit underrated with Lunchbox. He's also been on fire this tournament. Instinct's going to come out with great communication, great teamwork, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, instinct, guys, they had an incredible matchup beating Triggers down in game five to get to this point. You know they are playing strong. They were down against Triggers down, and they rallied back to win that series. They're looking to come out hot tonight, though, and I expect it to come out 
Very strong performance from Roy. And I think right now down on the floor, we have Julie Alexandria with Roy. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> So for the short break that we had, we had three weeks between DC and here in Dallas. Was that more helpful or more of a hindrance for Instinct? Um, for us, it was, uh, I think, beneficial. Uh, our team came to my house, and so we were just playing online as much as we could, played 2v2s together every day. So uh, going into this tournament, we're as practiced as we've ever been. But did you feel any added pressure because time was of the essence and you really only had three weeks? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're confident. Coming into every tournament, we feel like we're going to win. And so uh, definitely coming into this tournament, no different. And speaking of this tournament, you're going up against Final Boss. Now, we saw this exactly in the finals in Raleigh where you guys lost the series 6-3. So what are you going to do specifically to go up against Final Boss tonight? Um, play better, simply. Uh, definitely want to get a little revenge on uh, Fear Itself. He uh, may have brought us into the league, but uh, me and Launch brought him success. Wow. All right, you heard it here first. Chris, back up to you. All right, thanks, Julie. Roy, looking to take down Fear Itself here. Going to be an awesome matchup here, guys. Roy, two MVP awards. Cloud, two MVP awards. He's talking trash to the guys who just won MVP awards. Last event, that was Fear Itself and Pistol. But we got to talk about this final boss lineup. They've won our last two events, and after adding Pistola, this team looks incredible. Yeah, and you can't say enough about this team. I mean, we've seen Pistola. He's dedicated this tournament to his dad, and he's playing out of his mind right now, Chris. He's just doing it all. He's just embarrassing teams. He's practically winning for his team. And then you got Fear itself. He started off very sluggish this tournament, but now he is heated up, and he could be the best player on this team right now. And one player we have to mention, though, is Ogre 2. He's playing in his final championship here in Halo 3. He's finished out Halo 1 as the national champion, Halo 2 as the national champion, and here going for a complete sweep of the Halo games, Halo 3 national champion. He's been a rock solid performer in all three games and for this team all series long, all tournament long. I expect him to be performing great all event, or this series. This whole final boss team has been playing incredible. You saw the highlights out of Fear itself and Victory X, guys. You said Ogre 2, he's won the Halo 1 last tournament, the last tournament of Halo 2, looking to win the last tournament of Halo 3. But his teammate, Victory X, has never won a national championships, and Vic is looking to get it now. Let's go down to Julie, who's sitting with him now. Thanks, Chris. Up until Rally, you hadn't won a championship. You win in Rally. DC comes along, you win again. So is it difficult to keep that momentum up? And do you feel any added pressure to go for the three-peat here in the national championships in Dallas? Oh, uh, definitely not. If anything, I think we're the favorite coming in. We're just going to bring the momentum, get the three-peat, finish off instinct again, and win a national championship and secure Ogre 2's place as the best ever. All right. Well, speaking of instinct, you guys are going up against them now. Is there any one player that you feel poses a specific threat to you that you really have to focus on in this match? Well, obviously, you got to look at Roy. He's pretty good. But on the other end, we have Pistola over here, who's probably about twice as good as Roy. So we're not too worried about that. All right, well, that may be your opinion. I see some of the crowd agrees with you and some of the crowd doesn't. Now, last night on Saturday night and during the Old Spice Report, Fear Itself over here said that the most important thing on Saturday night coming into today on Sunday is getting rest. Were you guys able to get some much needed sleep last night? Oh, for sure. We were done at about, I think we ended at about 10. So we, got, we, went out, we went out, had a team dinner, had a little bit of fun, you know. Then we all went to our rooms, got some decent sleep. So we're good to go. All right, you're good to go. Chris, up to you. All right, so both of our teams feeling ready. Guys, this is the matchup I predicted. I can't wait to get it started. Final boss is taking on Instinct. It's the winner's bracket finals coming up next. The 2010 Major